ghost, I, of course, don't have any say in the matter, but that actually sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Yes, they started at exactly the same time. But they, but they did do a restart. Uh, yeah, I, so we're probably 25, 30 minutes behind. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> we, we've talked about having other competitions within the competition. There will always be this version, but there could be more as well. So if you have some of those ideas, that, that's pretty cool. So that was Billy agreeing with that idea, saying that he would, they, they would always have the existing format that they have now, but maybe there'd be some other, uh, other types of tournaments going on at the same time, like some of those longer or shorter format, uh, you know, like 20 minutes or, you know, as, as was uh, previously discussed. Sounds interesting to me. Sounds like something that I'd like to watch. Additional observation would tell us that Ethan has one man left. I mean, he's on his last man. Eric has a guy in the tank. If you hear a scream, yeah. that would mean Ethan came across bad news. Uh, as long as you don't hear a scream, it would, would not mean bad news for Eric. Right. make some noise. Nobody makes more noise than Robbie, though. No hammer run. You know, I, you're the first person to suggest that, because there have been suggestions that when they play in this final bracket, that people who always take two hammers, then take one, and that they should be forced to play their normal way. But you're the first person to suggest no hammer. That's, a, that's actually an idea. Again, an additional competition, a side one, the one that's there for fun, it's not going to hurt. Uh, again, we can't do them all, but which one could we do? We'll also have we'll also have the ability to have many direct feeds, and if we could ever have um, if we could ever have say as many as eight, then we could have playoffs instead of two guys playing at a time. There could be two, 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 and two. Again, they're only playing against each other, but they could all play at once. And and the fact of the matter is, if they're all playing at once, you would be able to squeeze in more types of competition as well. It's an idea. Okay, from Australia, Billy, we need your hot sauce in Australia. Okay, Mr. Uh, Jimmy Nails, technician, is here. A hundred and twenty-eight bottles in the box, and it's packed in an unbreakable manner that he's going to be able to take it on the airplane. It would easily, easily cost a thousand dollars to ship 
bit more. But of course, he can take it on the plane as, as baggage. He'll get it to Jimmy. They'll get it to you or whoever wants it. And the fact of the matter is, hopefully, the money that they are able to raise from it can go towards you know helping their farm out. Or they may choose to you know give it away to sponsors or anybody who helps better the situation. That was the idea. And when the guys go over for the Galaga competition, I hope to send them with some too. Again, just to help them out. Huh? How many competitors in the field this year? Like in the like thirty something in, in the low thirties. Yes, 128. That is correct. You didn't hear right. It's actually two boxes. It's like 62 and one, and 66 in the other. Um, you can check it in the bottom of the plane, but you can't carry it on with you because it's above three ounces or above 100 milliliters. And so that was my way to get it there because I don't like selling it there because I don't like shipping it there and I don't care even if you're willing to pay for it I just feel like it's such a ripoff I I don't want to do it so this is my way of getting it there for free and then Jimmy can get it to you guys and we can find out how it again how it is if we can use that you know to help the Australian Congo um, why don't some of the top guys show up there are only a few people who seem to make it every year Many of the others are hit and miss off and on. Um, I know Steve Weeby was going to be here up until about uh, a couple days ago, and then he called Richie and apologized. Yeah, but uh, if, uh, having it at Richie's location and changing the locations, but now him there with Vince, he's in a spot that he's going to be for a long, long time. Yeah, hot sauce tactics, that's good. Miss Janine, we're going to put you in charge of politics. Uh, yeah, I think when you see him push a bit, I think, uh, Ethan, I think the monitor's probably not quite drilled in like it could be. So, again, listen for the yell, for the noise. <laughs> that's bad news for Ethan. Until then, he's okay. Yeah, blame Neil. Hey, can you guys... I'd hate to be negative. But, and of course, this is humorous. Let me get my disclaimer. But some of you guys, you know how to bitch, whine, moan, complain, squawk, bellyache, cry baby, raise all kinds of hell. How come nobody's yelling at Neil? He hasn't put on a Mario costume yet. That's not true. He did yesterday. He did? Yes. He must have been hiding. We're going to do it. He donned Can you explain to me why we got a Kong off here? We got a guy that looks like Mario. He's the same height as Mario. Okay? And he can't put the damn... He should have the costume on the whole time. Who's getting new? Look, I, I, got, I got my monkey suit on. You know? <laughs> I absolutely concur. Uh, some, of these guys, some of these guys, we got to get him commentating. They got some good stuff. Dave Clark's your cousin. I won't hold that against you. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that Dave beats uh, Robbie because that gives me a little redemption on my uh, springboards. Man, when the stream is busy like this, you can hardly read the damn thing. Wow. You know, I, I had a I had a, my stream going one time on one of the a million point games I did, and it had a thousand seventy nine. And the chat was so damn fast, you couldn't even read it. And I wonder when you get into um, when you get into some of the streamers like Ninja and 
you know, who do Fortnite and all, and they have, you know, 50 and 100,000 people in the, in the chat. I don't even know why you have a chat. There's no chance you could read that. Yeah, I've seen that kind of stuff before. It doesn't even... At some point, they just manually put it on a manual scroll so it doesn't fly by and they can answer a lot of it. Yeah. Um, the idea of double elimination has been talked about because every single player here, yesterday Ethan played for many, many hours. Look how good he's doing right now. Many, many hours, and he couldn't get past level three without dying. And then he started playing even though he died on before level three, and he continued playing just to see what would happen, and then he didn't get like over 100. And every single person has those games, all of us. So the idea of double elimination has been talked about. Oh yeah, God. you're right. Dude. That was close. I didn't see what happened. Oh, he was almost trapped. Was it the clock or was it? Was it was the clock running out or was it almost dead? No, no, it's almost dead. He's getting trapped in all sides by the plane. Uh, the Donkey Kong Burger is where we go out here and we get the best burger and we just hammer it with hot sauce. Yeah. Yesterday, Mr. Starcastle Zookeeper, yesterday sucked. I'm playing. I got three and four and five hundred thousand on the first guy, and then I did what we sometimes do. You know? Hey, what happens with them? It'd be really nice if it came down to a kill screen. I hope. Okay. Yeah, no, it would be. That would be the first time that's ever happened. We've never had two guys play to the kill screen. Last year, Steve Weeby was playing, uh, well, maybe Jason Wade. I really don't remember. And uh, Steve Weeby was still playing. The other game was done. Um, they played a single hammer. So it was like in the low 900s. And had Steve made it through level 21, his score would have been higher. He had the room. But he died on uh, he died on the Yes, uh, the person you hear talking is Billy Mitchell. Man, Dan knows his stuff. Yeah, Steve died on 21 too. Dan, what are you doing over there? Get over here. Yeah, Mr. Pong Club, I did get that text. And do me a favor, uh, send it again. And the squeaky wheel gets the oil. There's a lot of things that's happening, and I'm pulled in a lot of directions at the moment. And that doesn't mean I don't want to do it. That means I'm asking you to squeak. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Please send it again. And I mean that sincerely. The way it's going right now, if, uh, I mean, if Ethan gets to the end, I mean, he's got him. There's Nothing Eric yeah, will do to be able to keep his score ahead, but of course Eric's only a couple levels away and he's got he's got a man in the tank too. And don't anyone oh, say no. and that was it. That's it. That is the end That's of the it. game. That's it!
We can tell you what it is. Oh, oh no, his personal. Oh, his personal. Yeah. Which I don't know. Yeah, he won't, he won't get his personal best, but he'll uh, go to the I mean, he's got a guy in the tank. Hey, Neil, what are you doing? They got to put the wind up there. So that means officially we have Jeff Wolf. Oh man. We have Jeff Wolf versus Eric Tesler and Dave Clark versus Robbie Lakeman in the semifinals coming up in just a bit. happens on 22-1, doesn't it? If I remember correctly. There is a link with the results and so forth. If you uh, go to exclamation mark, if you enter exclamation mark scoreboard into the chat, you'll get a link to our Google Doc. And the Google Doc shows you both the qualifying scores and the current bracket. Thank you. Yeah, there's the, you don't need to, you don't need to play, you don't need to play anymore for him to have the win, but it's a great game, and of course you want to push forward to the kill screen when you're this close.
patience, patience, patience. Do not rush that, because that'll kill you. So what's really cool here is Ethan just had his best game of the weekend during the elimination, which is just rare. It doesn't happen. This is Eric's best game of the weekend, and he's still playing. And uh, uh, no, he's been at Kill Screen before. His personal best is like 960, I think. And so now he's he's going to end around 880. So. But both of those guys yesterday were funny. They both said, I can't get past level three. The monkey's mean. All that silly stuff. I remember that. Yeah. But we were all saying that. So, I don't know. The mean monkey went away today. And Billy is right about that. There were some people in the chat who were saying, you know, man, why haven't you put Ethan Daniel's scores up yet? And... Uh, he was just having a really hard time of it at first. Uh, none of his scores were high enough for him to even want to walk over and say, hey, put my score in, you know. But then he went away for a while. He came back and he sat down and he just got that, uh, that what was it, a 700,000? I don't remember what the score was. Let me look it up. Yeah, he got that 715. Yeah, here we go. It's It's more than possible.